The Zimmer next-gen knee replacement story is a sad one. For years, Dr. Richard Berger, a well-known orthopedic surgeon from Chicago, consulted with Zimmer to develop and promote new medical implant devices. For his services, Zimmer paid him over $8 million. One of those devices was a new, supposedly revolutionary knee implant that was designed to give patients more range of motion. Once the device was on the market, Dr. Berger noticed that it was failing at an unexpectedly high rate. In fact, within two years, 36% of the devices had become loose and nearly 10% required removal. Dr. Berger himself described this failure rate as horrific. Dr. Berger notified Zimmer of his findings. Instead of listening to him, Zimmer fired him and kept promoting the device. The New York Times reported the conflict between Dr. Berger and Zimmer highlighted what is wrong with the system when disputes arise about medical device safety. There are no independent referees or sources of information because no one tracks the performances of medical devices once they're on the market. What you, the consumer, may find shocking is the fact that makers of medical devices, like knee implants, are not required to submit safety data prior to marketing the device. Unlike drugs, device applications are reviewed by a completely separate division of the FDA and under a far less demanding standard. All a prospective medical device manufacturer is required to do is point to a similar device that is already on the market. This is true even if the proposed new medical device is not exactly the same or it includes new designs or modifications. What's more concerning, Zimmer marketed the next-gen knee to younger patients with the promise of delivering better performance for active young people. Now those young people must undergo a painful revision surgery. Often repeat joint replacement is far more challenging for the surgeon and the expected results are far more uncertain. When knee implants fail, patients often complain of unusual and unexplained stiffness, pain, swelling, difficulty walking, and even a hard time putting weight on their leg. These are signs that the device has become loose and is not working properly. The message here is to do your research before undergoing any medical procedure. Ask what kind of device or implant the surgeon intends to use. The internet is a powerful tool. Ask about alternatives and then make an informed decision. Your health and safety may depend on it. Finally, don't assume that because a device is on the market or it has been approved by the FDA that it is safe.